we had uh, stopped or the previous video stopped when we was at uh, the heart chakra or the heart, the center shaft, right? That 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 center shaft um, um, petition, right? Um, the center shaft petition, give us this day our daily bread. So the idea of daily bread and, and the theme of bread is also very significant at the heart chakra or in heart, right? So we're going through the, the seven branches, right, of the I'll fall the prayer, right? Touching on the seven branches of the our father prayer and we're looking at the hebrew right here once again thanks to uh i and i wendon wendon ross ayason yasson for of of uh rastafari midrashim dot wordpress dot com we thank him for his labors here it's, it's a wonderful beautiful one I want to work on one also in them hark but this is from the hebrew right but we are in the English King James Bible Schofield as a basic first level, first grade in our first grade uh, study material, the King James Bible Schofield Study Bible. But we're here in Matthew chapter six and we was at verse 11. We was at the fourth petition. Let's just go over the petitions again. We have the first petition, right? Um, corresponding to Matthew chapter six, verse nine, the first, um, one, two, three, four, uh, five, six words. Oh, our, oh, well, there's no oh there, but our father, which art in heaven. Our father, which art in heaven. Abinu Sheba Shemayim, our father who is in heaven. Right? This is what opens up the, the crown, right? The crowning chakra or what we call the crown chakra right here at the, at the head, right? At the head, opening that gate for the receptivity, you know, amongst those who are diligent, watching and in prayer. And prayer is communication with the Father in the name and in the authority and in the redemption and in the love, in the grace and the, and the truth of the son of the Bain Ha Elohim, Ha Moshia Yeshua, Ha Adon, I and I, Adonai, I and I, Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So now this is the first petition right here. This will be that first branch. Now, another interesting thing we noted already, but we want to note it again is that when the uh, menorah or the lampstand is lit, it is lit from right to left. Now, of course, Hebrew is read from right to left, but also the right to left orientation also is equivalent with the light coming from heaven, right? The spiritual cosmic light, you know, and it's where attention goes, energy flows, that there's, there's a principle proven scientifically, um, proven, you know, where our attention goes, their energy flows. So in recognizing what prayer is, right, and with that receptive heart and that mind, right, in the grace of our Lord and Savior, that's what magnetizes, you know, that's what, there is where the attraction, so one has that attraction and that receptivity. So our father who art in heaven is the first petition. So this would be like the first light. But notice something that the heart is still the center. Why? Because the petition here is very interesting. The petition at the heart chakra is et lechem lechem ku ku kenu ku kenu Ten lanu hayom. In other words, give us this day our daily bread. But what's interesting is that it begins with that untranslated et, right? Or the et. And the et in the Hebrew is the 
Hebrew Alpha and Omega, the first and last letter. But it's also a signature. It's the signature in the Hebrew scriptures of the sun. It's the signature of the logos, of the pre and the incarnate logos, Ha Adon Yeshua Ha Moshiach, our Moshienu, our Savior. You know, Moshiach, Moshiach is the Messiah, Christ, and Moshiach, Moshiach is Savior. Notice how interesting, close those words are. Okay, let's see. We have a couple more minutes here. So I just want to go through this right here just to um, show you which are the seven petitions, right? And we're along the tree of life, right? We're along the chakras and we're along the the seven seals in man that these particular words should resonate to clean, to purify, right? The gates purify the light so that, that his light can shine completely, his light and his life. But it begins with the word and the real groundation is the is the heart, right? And it's at the heart chakra that we receive his or the sifra, the sifrot, right? That we receive daily bread, right? That we receive his word. And it's so very interesting because there are so many errors in the scripture where Christ gave these, these, um, um, instructions, or you can even call them hints, if you please, these particular keys. So now as we move forward to the fifth, so this is first, the second one right here. The second one would be at the third eye chakra right here. Um, Hallow be thy name, or holy, Kedus is thy name. Thy kingdom come, or let her come. The kingdom here is, is, is feminine. It's very interesting. It says, Yit Kadesh, uh, Shemika, Taboa, Malakuteka. Your, he possesses she. Third, third eye right here, the throat chakra. Right at the throat chakra, when thy will be done, right, thy will be done in earth or on earth as it is in heaven. So as our our mind is in the Christ mind, right? So don't be conformed to the world, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And the and the metanoia or the repentance is having that change of mind. That's what it means to be born again from above, right? From how we are thinking and how we are receptive. So we're receptive to this in our mind, then so it is on earth, right? So the second or the third at the throat chakra, right? Ye'ashe retzoneka kabashamayima na'ashe be'aretz. In other words, that right there would be thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Heart chakra again. Et, right? Aleif tav et lechem kuakenu ten lanu hayon. Give us this day our daily bread. Now at the solar plexus.